Marcus Conti. Good morning. So, you know, I was just reflecting on the big meeting and uh, other other breaking news at uh, DSNY. I give this an hour or two a day. And, um, you know, it just occurs to me that upper management, uh, for lack of a better term, Burke, Klingler, and uh, the new guy, Esposito, um, you know, they're all, they're all greenside loyalists. They're all in, you know, greenside A uniforms. They're not, you know, they know who their loyalty is to, and that's to the greenside and the commissioner. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're in, um, they realize that they've lost control of the troops and that they, they don't really, it's in a free fall. And, um, they also know that the supervisors are acutely aware that they're going to be blamed for this whole mess, that they're going to be blamed for pushing the quota, that they're going to be blamed for falsifying paperwork and, and fake write-ups on, uh, you know, people like me, for example. We don't, we don't really know the extent of who else is involved, but certainly um, the, you know, the, the nine fake write-ups I received are, were, you know, coerced by, you know, the very people we're talking about. To protect the quota, and um, but they're going to blame you. You know they're blaming the supervisors. So what do they do? They call a meeting, you know, and try to get try to get the agents on their side to attack you as well, because their attack on you isn't working, right? Their attack on you is is like you guys are somehow holding down your ground, saying we didn't do it. You told us to do it. And they're saying, we didn't tell, we, we, we never gave anybody a quota, right? So they're playing this game. And now they're reaching out to the agents who are in total chaos, total, total, total confusion. It's a big mess over there, you know? That's my read on it. Big mess, you know? And, and you, you know, you guys are, to be honest, you're a huge disgrace. That's what it looks like. You're, you're a disgrace. The, the, the top management of Burke and Klingler and, and the rest of the bad bunch, Kelly, whoever else, all the captains, Pascal, Greenwood, Pepe, all those guys that caused this mess, right? You're a big disgrace. You're a big, big, ugly disgrace, right? You disgrace the, uh, the agency, you disgrace the city with a ticket quota, racism, fraud, abusing people. How many people, for, for how many years have you guys been abusing people with this bullshit? Abusing, you know, the racism and the shut your mouth, shut up, shut up. You got people, you got abused children. That's what, that's what, that's what you guys have been creating for all these years, you know. And um, I know it's something. It's something to think about. I think, like you know, the example is the Titanic. You know, it's you guys are switching seats. You're switching seats in the Titanic. You think you got a better a better spot over here. You're not going to get wet. So you switch out Klingler to with with a Esposito. It's a, you know, but the ship is still going down. You know, it's still going down until you come forward, until you just admit the problem, admit that there's that the that the situation got out of control with the write-ups and the the the, the quota was driving this this uh, sense of abuse. The use of racism as a as a weapon. All right, it's thirty years running. The, the the segregated units, the green side, all the white guys, and the, you know, and the, the enforcement side, all the blacks who become racist blacks, who, who maybe were racist blacks and now are more racist blacks. You know, you guys, are, you guys are like you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> Come clean with it, you know. You need a new vision, you know. That's what I said. I told you, EEO lady, you need a, you need a fresh start. You need a new vision for for enforcement. It's not as bad as it looks. You just got to switch the view from ticket writing, right, to community service. Pow, easy, easy to do. You could do it in one page, you know. Reach a community outreach, you know, right. But well, you know what? You know what? Enforcement, they're not going to give that to you. They're not going to give that to you. You know why? Because you're, you're, you're scum in their eyes. They don't, they see you as a bunch of, you know, fuck them. They're not going to give them anything. They, they wanted you, 
they wanted you guys because you because you because you take the abuse, you put your head down, and you run people over with tickets, and you don't you don't speak up for yourself. You take the abuse year after year after year after year after year. And if they change the you know the 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 view, change the 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 um, you know the, the the overall view of enforcement from they switch it from ticket writing to community service they're going to take that job away from you they're not going to give that to you they're going to they're going to keep that job for themselves so that they look good so that all the guys with the green green nice green uniforms and stars and stars and stripes and they're going to they're going to go hand out the brooms and they're going to hand out literature in the in the community community outreach yeah they already got a unit they already got the DSNY community affairs unit. What the hell do they need you for? So, I mean, that, that's all I'm saying. My my read is my ongoing read of this is, uh, you know, and where do I stand? Where do I say, look, look, I don't work for you guys. I don't take your orders. It, it's it, for me. It's long gone. It's it's two years. I have I have my my because of all the lying, the cheating, and the stealing. Your management team has forced me to become who I am. That I have to, I can't just walk into court and 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 with 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 piles of evidence and I still can't win because of the because of these uh, you know because of the power of DSNY. So if they keep lying, I have to keep doing what I'm going to do and I'm not going to it ain't going to end. It ain't, it's only getting better. Like I said, I'll say it again. I've said it before. The best recordings are yet to come. Right, the best stuff, right? The best evidence is yet to come, but it, it, it incriminates agents, and I don't. I, I I've been trying to, you know, avoid it. But you, you guys, you guys leave me. You leave me no choice. So, so anyway, that's that's where I stand on it. Um, you know, I'm I'm fighting for myself. You know, if you guys you guys are fighting for yourself, I know you're not doing this. You're not fighting for me. That's that's for damn sure. You want you want. You want equality. You want a a, a, a civilized uh, work environment. You want fairness. You want transparency. You want a, a, a job title that actually is a job title, not a ticket mill. You know, a ticket mill running people over with tickets. You want a national job title, which is which is what I'm talking about, which is community community service, community outreach. Keeping the streets clean. You know, another point is that they, they say, well, that revenue, that $20 million, I don't know how many $20 million that with $25 million that enforcement generates. Just just for the record, $25 million is not even one building in Manhattan. Okay, so clean streets, clean neighborhoods are considered safe neighborhoods. So if you guys are out there cleaning the streets, Keeping, you know, doing community service and keeping the streets clean, the neighborhoods are considered safe, and property val- values go up to the to the tune of billions of dollars. So this business that somehow your only function could be to, you know, generate revenue by writing tickets is is total nonsense. It's just it's it's poor political direction. It's it's inaccurate. The real the real function is community affairs where you make the neighborhoods clean by reaching out to the community telling people about the routing hours still writing tickets for grotesque violations of course not everyone's going to cooperate of course of course but for the most part most people will most people will respond to positive smiling faces community service and thereby making the communities clean making the communities safe and overall increasing the property values everywhere in the city exponentially.